Oh boy, another video. Strap in, folks. This is gonna be another humdinger. Is that sarcasm? I never programmed you for sarcasm. Well, you're no programmer. I'm no proctologist either, but I can tell when I'm working with an asshole. You win this round. To be fair, you're not wrong. In today's video, we'll let AI do all the programming. What are we working with? Asian cheerleaders and boogers. You had me at Asian cheerleaders. Hey, everybody! It's time for AI Tips with Jay! Sounds too good to be true, but Jay has got some tips for you. Totally free, you don't have to pay. It's time for AI Tips with Jay! AI Tips with Jay! Hooray! AI Tips with Jay! In today's video, how not to program with AI. Also, a special guest appearance by Asian cheerleaders. And now here's Jay. Today I'm using ChatGPT instead of Claude because I want thousands of witnesses when I complain that their new Canvas feature doesn't work for me. It acts like the same old ChatGPT. Still, It'll work for our purposes. We're going to let AI solve a problem for us by writing a program, and all we'll use is our browser, notepad, and a command prompt. What's the problem? Lately, every time I go to download a photo from the Google, it wants to send it to me as a WebP file. But when I go to upload that same file, most sites don't want it in WebP format. So I waste a lot of time converting files. I feel like I may need to see a few more examples. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to program a solution, but to present it as though they were explaining it to a complete novice. Somebody who knows next to nothing about programming. Exactly. A blank slate. Right. Totally clueless. Well, I wouldn't say... A complete moron. Stop it. I want this to work automatically, so I'm telling ChatGPT to instantly convert any WebP files as soon as they hit my downloads directory. Since I've also asked it to answer me as though I were a... Baboon. A novice. ChatGTP has provided me step-by-step -step instructions for setting up my programming environment, including the instructions for installing Python and a couple small, simple supporting libraries. Installing those is just a matter of copying the code and pasting it into the command line of a command prompt window. Ignore any warnings you get during installation. They're like those red lights on the dashboard of your car. They mean nothing. I'll create a directory for our web to ping program and pop open the notepad text editor. Then it's just a simple matter of saving our file and running it. I'll need to find a test image to... Ooh, Asian cheerleaders, Asian cheerleaders! That didn't work. For some reason, all Asian cheerleader images are stored as JPEGs. Let me search for something else instead. Really? A booger? Well, I had to pick something. Yeah. You're gonna have a million subscribers in no time with material like that. It didn't work because my program wasn't actually running. Here's a tip for all you novice programmers out there. In order for your programs to work, you have to actually run them. You, my friend, put the dumb in wisdom. You're welcome. Now that our program's running, we'll try to save another booger. And we have an error. Not a problem, though. Since ChatGPT made the error, ChatGPT can fix the error. Over the next couple minutes, I'll cut, copy, and paste the code written by our AI and keep retrying until it works. And eventually it does work. Not counting the time spent redoing screen captures for this video, it took about eight minutes to get web to ping designed, built, tested, installed, and deployed out to GitHub. All without doing any actual programming, writing any code, or even opening my Visual Studio software development environment. What a time to be alive! Not your thing, cool, take a hike. Otherwise, subscribe and like to AI Tips with Jay. AI Tips with Jay! Hooray! AI, 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 AI Tips with Jay. AI Tips with Jay is a copyrighted production of j.gravel.us. All rights reserved by AI Tips with Jay.